Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. When narcissists know you know, they pulled the wool over your eyes. They had you fooled for such a long time to where you didn't know who they are. You didn't know what you were actually dealing with because they deceived you by telling untruths or by hiding the truth from you. They imposed misleading beliefs upon you and they had you validating this false reality of where they could not do anything wrong. But when you begin to figure them out, that is when things get out of control. Because before that, you were like their obedient little dog. They had trained you to obey certain commands to where you did everything they asked very quickly. But when you know who they are, everything changes. Narcissists are predators. They are people who ruthlessly exploit others for their personal or financial gain. But in order to do this successfully, they must study human behavior, which means that they are highly sensitive and attuned to their prey because they have adjusted to it and become aware of the way it works. Narcissists will study your behaviors. They will study your perceptions of the world and they will study your perceptions of relationships. They will study everything down to the finest minute detail. They will conduct a detailed, careful and thorough examination and inspection even on things that are insignificant or of small importance. They have to observe every aspect of you so that they know how to attack and at what moment they should attack and what direction they should attack you from. Which means that even a single piece of trivial information, the smallest amount of shift or variegation is enough to trigger their alert system which tells them that they are about to lose their source of supply. It will tell them if you are devising a plan of action to counter their attack. So once you figure them out, they're going to know that you know. They will immediately sense it because you're not like them. You won't be able to put on an act. You won't be able to pretend that everything is fine because you can't behave as if something is true when you know that it's not. You're not wired that way. You're wired to be true, real and authentic. You can't be fake. So of course, they will know that you know and they will do things deliberately to get the information out of you because they need your reaction. So they need you to fail to maintain your composure so that you lose control of your emotions. Which is why when you start to figure things out, you need to make a plan to leave the situation because it's unlikely to, it, it's likely to become very difficult and unpleasant for you. Which is why the best way to deal with them is to run far away from them. Although it can feel good when you figure them out. Because you've discovered information or knowledge that gives you access to power. You now know the truth. Which gives you the opportunity to unapologetically pursue your desires, aspirations and adventures. As opposed to bondage or slavery. You now have the option to be free. In the absence of necessity, coercion and constraint, 
where you can finally live in flow, in total engagement with life, without the waste of time or potential. But before you get to this point, you will experience a lot of pain and suffering. When the narcissist knows you know they may try to love bomb you again, they may do things that they didn't do before, to try to keep you around, they may pretend to be nice, they may act like they have changed, but they're not nice and they haven't changed. It's just a plan of action they're using to keep you around. Which is why if you continue in your beliefs and in your argument, they will criticize you severely and you will see who they actually are beneath the mask. Even if all you're doing is trying to avoid experiencing further abuse, to wear your grey rock in them or you've cut contact, they will come after you and this time they will be even more aggressive. They may be covert and they may use love bombing, but if that doesn't work they will abuse you even more to where they will insult you and publicly humiliate you because they know you know and it's triggering them to reflect on what a horrible person they are so they have to deflect that onto you through denial and criticism in order to sustain this false reality that they have constructed to protect their false self but when you figure them out it causes a narcissistic injury. It wounds their ego. It overwhelms their defense mechanisms and crushes their false sense of pride and self-worth. Figuring out a narcissist feels like criticism or an insult to a narcissist. So they're going to see it as an attack. As though you're challenging their inflated sense of superiority, specialness and entitlement. Because in their minds they are perfect. They think you could not find any evidence of their negative qualities and characteristics as though the truth will never be found out because they've confined you in this trap and they believe that it is perfect. They believe that it has no flaws. It's like they've locked you in a room with no means of escape. But once you find the key to the door it causes a huge narcissistic injury because then they fear being exposed and they fear losing their source of supply which means that they will rage and punish you. When narcissists know you know they may try to love bomb you again but if that doesn't work they will punish you and this will continue even after you have left the relationship because they have to defeat you to prove to themselves that their false image is indestructible, that they are untouchable and above the law, because they're better than everyone else and they're more intelligent. When a narcissist wants to punish their victim, they will typically drag you through the courts as a means of exerting their power and control over you by taking away what is rightfully yours whether it's your children, money or other possessions. There won't be any agreement or negotiation because you can't resolve points of difference with a narcissist. They've got to have the advantage over you because they want to make you suffer. Which is why this is typically just one of the tools in their bag of tricks. They will also start a smear campaign and try to isolate you to prevent you from maintaining or establishing a support network. They are capable of anything. They will do anything they possibly can to damage you. They will pretend to be nice. They will pretend that they have changed in the beginning. But if you have properties, money or other resources, they're not even going to think twice. They're going to try to take it from you and they won't worry about the effect it has on you. They won't even give you a warning. They will take you by surprise because they have a scarcity mindset. They believe that it's every man for himself. They feel inadequate. They feel like they're not enough. 
and these characteristics are what causes them to reveal their true self. Because they don't want separation. They feel like they're in a far more favorable position when they are enmeshed with you. Because you're the one with all of the value, while they have none. Which is why you're typically at an advantage when you separate yourself from them. Which is why they're the ones who are coming after you. So you do need to create separation so that it impairs their ability to cause damage to your finances and to your image. Don't assume that they have any morals or values of their own. Because narcissists do not think that way. If something is within their reach, they're going to take it. And they're not going to let you go without a fight. They will do anything they can to punish you and to get what they want. Because by figuring them out, you have threatened their false image. Which they see as an attack. So in their minds, what they're doing is self-defense. Which is why if you are around them, they may even harm you physically. Or they may damage your property. Which means that they are a serious threat to you and your children. Because they're very unpredictable. You don't know what they're going to do next. You can't plan ahead. Which means that you do need to have a support network. You do need to have people around who are there to protect you. Because narcissists become very dangerous when you figure them out. The abuse will escalate and they will try to harm you physically, psychologically, or financially. And this is something that can go on for life. Because life is a game to them. They take pleasure in causing harm to people. They enjoy the drama and chaos. But if you have a support network in place, and you've got people there to protect and preserve your value against these predators. They will typically leave you alone and find an easier unsuspecting target. Because that's all they're looking for. They want someone who doesn't know who they are. So that they can run their game on them and get what they want. But if things don't go their way they will get bored. And then it will die out and they will try to find someone else to fill that void. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one on one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.